Uh, based on the provided details, the 1977 Chevrolet Nova listed at $2,500 in Milan, Tennessee, appears to have potential for both restoration and as a source of spare parts. The absence of a motor and transmission significantly lowers its value as a running vehicle, making restoration more challenging and costly. However, the body's condition, assumed fair based on the listing, and the classic appeal of the Nova make it a viable candidate for enthusiasts willing to invest in the necessary components. The original blue exterior and black interior suggest it retains some vintage charm. Overall, while restoration requires substantial effort and resources, it's feasible. Otherwise, the car's components can serve as valuable parts for similar models. The 1968 Ford F100 listed at $1,800 in Atlanta, Georgia, presents a compelling option for restoration. With an automatic transmission and a 429 interceptor engine, the truck runs well but requires some TLC and minor fixes. The inherited nature of the vehicle suggests it has been in the family for years, potentially well-maintained but needing attention due to recent inactivity. The white exterior appears to be in fair condition, though further inspection is necessary. The fact that it runs great already reduces the initial restoration costs and effort. This F100 is a strong candidate for restoration, retaining historical value and functional potential. It offers a promising project for vintage truck enthusiasts and could also be a source of valuable parts if restoration is not pursued. The 1963 Chevrolet Bel Air, listed at $2,500 in Corpus Christi, Texas, is a promising candidate for restoration. With 50,000 miles driven, this green-on-green -green classic is a survivor car, meaning it remains largely in its original state. The manual transmission and gasoline engine enhance its vintage appeal. The fact that it runs and drives is a significant advantage, although it needs brake adjustments. The all-original condition suggests minimal tampering over the years, which is ideal for purists looking to, re looking to restore it to its former glory. Overall, this Bel Air offers substantial restoration potential, combining historical value and operational viability, making it an excellent project for classic car enthusiasts or a valuable source of original parts. The 1976 Chevrolet 1500 regular cab long bed listed at $2,600 in Fort Worth, Texas, offers a mixed opportunity for restoration. With an automatic transmission, the vehicle features a red exterior and blue interior, adding a unique color combination. The seller mentions the engine works, which is a positive sign for restoration feasibility. However, the lack of a title complicates legal ownership and registration, potentially deterring some buyers. The mention of needing new tires indicates additional immediate costs. Despite these challenges, the custom deluxe C10 model and long bed configuration hold appeal for enthusiasts. This truck is a decent candidate for restoration, provided the title issue can be resolved, or it could serve as a valuable source of parts for similar projects. The 1965 Ford Galaxy listed at $2,800 is an intriguing option for restoration enthusiasts. With an automatic transmission, a burgundy exterior, and a white interior, this Galaxy 500 XL convertible exudes classic appeal. The inclusion of a 429 motor with dove heads and a rebuilt C6 transmission adds significant value as these are desirable components. The car needs body work and has been sitting for some time, less indicating potential rust and other age-related issues. However, the fact that the motor runs is a substantial advantage, reducing some of the mechanical restoration costs. This vehicle is a strong candidate for restoration, offering a blend of vintage charm and mechanical robustness, making it a worthwhile project for classic car restorers. The 1973 Citroen DS listed at $2,000 with 73,481 miles is a unique and potentially rewarding restoration project. The car features an automatic transmission and a gold exterior, though it looks rough and needs significant TLC. The fact that it turned over and reportedly ran about 10 years ago suggests that it might be revivable with effort. The clear title is a plus, ensuring smoother legal processes. However, it needs a trunk pan and possibly more extensive repairs due to its age and neglected condition. 
Given the seller's $4,000 investment and the car's historical significance, this DS is a strong candidate for a dedicated restorer seeking a classic piece of automotive history. Alternatively, it could serve as a source of rare parts. Uh, the 1974 Alfa Romeo Spider Convertible, listed at $2,500, represents a compelling restoration project. Featuring a manual transmission, silver exterior, and black interior, this car maintains its original speaker injection and drivetrain, enhancing its vintage authenticity. The seller highlights that the car is very complete and solid, a positive sign for restoration feasibility. However, it needs everything, indicating extensive work required on both mechanical and aesthetic fronts. The included but uninstalled used windshield is a helpful addition. The absence of a title, offering only a bill of sale, may complicate ownership transfer and registration. Despite this, the car's solid structure and completeness make it a promising starting point for enthusiasts dedicated to reviving a classic Alfa Romeo Spider. The 1969 Volkswagen Karman Ghia, listed at $2,700 in Brooksville, Florida, offers a, a mixed opportunity for restoration or parts. With 78,000 miles driven, it features a manual transmission, red exterior, and black interior. The vehicle runs and drives, which is a positive aspect, but it needs significant work, including floor replacement and rust repair on the body. The absence of a title is a substantial drawback, complicating legal ownership and registration. While the Carmen Ghia is a beloved classic, valued for its, for its unique design and driving experience, the extensive rust issues and title absence suggest this car might be more suitable for parts rather than a full restoration project. Enthusiasts should weigh the cost of repairs and legal hurdles against the car's potential value. The 1964 Dodge Polara, listed at $2,600 in Worcester, Oklahoma, presents a substantial restoration project. This tan coupe with an automatic transmission and a 318 poly engine includes all trim except the bottom piece around the rear window. The vehicle lacks a title, though the seller is attempting to locate it, which could delay legal ownership and registration. Significant restoration is required, including replacing the trunk and floor pans, and addressing rust spots in the quarters, although these do not need replacement. The push-button automatic transmission is a unique feature, adding vintage charm. Despite the extensive work needed and the missing title, the Polara's classic appeal and potential make it a viable candidate for dedicated restorers willing to invest time and resources. The 1964 Chevrolet Corvair Monza Spider Turbo, listed at $2,250 in Clearwater, Florida, is an intriguing restoration prospect. With 57,423 miles and a manual transmission, this burgundy on burgundy vehicle has been in storage for 45 years, but retains a clean title. Described as a project car, it cannot currently be driven due to brake issues and additional unspecified needs. Positively, the engine runs well and the turbo is functional. Recent updates include brand new tires, new oil and filter, spark plugs and wires, and a rebuilt carburetor, indicating some preparatory maintenance has been performed. Despite requiring significant work, the car's fair condition, rare turbo feature, and classic appeal make it a worthwhile project for enthusiasts or a valuable source of parts for similar models. The 1978 Chevrolet Monza listed at $2,000 in Flora Home, Florida, is a solid candidate for restoration or trade. Featuring an automatic transmission and a blue exterior, this car is equipped with a 231 Buick motor, enhancing its performance potential. The seller notes that the vehicle has a clear title, which simplifies ownership and registration. The primary issue is the need for a gas tank installation, necessitating a trailer for transport. Despite this, the car is described as solid, suggesting minimal rust or structural damage, the firm price and willingness to consider trades make it a flexible option for buyers. Overall, this Monza offers a solid foundation for a restoration project, appealing to enthusiasts seeking a classic car with a straightforward path to operational status.